Harry's Wife, Part 102.14, Photo Blast. Let's overshadow. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. What's in a photograph? Well, plenty. You'll recall, of course, previously, that Harry's wife and Harry got their collective knickers in a twist over the fact that they weren't appear- they didn't appear in a photograph which, of course, involved Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince George. But, of course, that was because it was the monarch and the direct heirs. But, nevertheless, the paranoia of Harry's wife causes her to see this as a threat to control when there isn't actually. It is common, of course, and for those of you who have been involved with Narcissus will recognise this, that there are many instances where the Narcissus finds an insult or a slight where one does not actually exist. It is the perception of the Narcissist. Just recently, photographs were released with regard to an official photograph of King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla. The Daily Express reports on this in an article by Olivia Stringer, Tara Fair, Callie Brooks, and Catherine Mayer Funnel. How it takes four people to write this article is quite beyond me, but there we are. It states, no way back for Harry and Harry's wife after new photo released. There is no way back for Harry and Harry's wife following the release of a new portrait, a royal expert has said. The first official photograph of King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla has been released with the new Prince and Princess of Wales standing by their side in the picture. Daily Mail diary editor Richard Kay stated that the hint of a smile on the King's face in the picture shows that he is not daunted by what lies ahead of him, or perhaps the photographer just cracked a good joke. Uh, Mr. Kay added that the fact that Harry and Harry's wife are not in the picture is a signal that they will never return to central royal life. That's Mr. Kay's reading of the situation. Writing in the Daily Mail, Mr. Kay said, It is not difficult to imagine how this picture will be viewed in sunny California, where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are based. Might it deepen their feelings of exclusion and exile, or will it merely serve to remind them why they chose to break free from the family in the first place? It will actually essentially do both, because Harry's wife will see it, and, without realising quite simply this, you're not included because you're not working royals, which is the simple explanation for this. There's nothing more sinister behind it than that. Her paranoia will interpret it as, this is a deliberate snub of us, Harry. Luck, the nemesis, and her husband, along with the king and queen consort, are all cozying up together without us. They've excluded us again, Harry, putting us on the outside. Uh, um, yeah, but a uh, lambkin, we don't need to be in the picture ourselves. Uh, yeah, right, we've, um, we're not working royals, so shut up, Harry. Zzz. And he gets his balls tasered once again. The fact is that this picture doesn't involve Harry and his wife because they're not working royals. Very simple. But Harry's wife's paranoia will interpret this as a deliberate snub. It will cause her to see they're deliberately excluding us, and this is why we didn't bother with them, because they do things like this. The article explains, It surely can be no coincidence that the picture was taken when the couple was still in Britain, and several days before they returned home to their children Archie and Lilibet. It must therefore be yet another signal that they will never again return to their central role in royal life. I disagree with this. I simply think it's the case that they're not working royals, therefore they're not in the photograph. But Harry's wife will interpret that differently. Interestingly, Another article from something called The Hollywood Gossip by, by Tyler Johnson tells us this. When Queen Elizabeth II passed away last month, King Charles III became the first British monarch to take the throne in the 21st century. As the Queen reigned for over 70 years, this will be the first time that most UK residents witnessed the ascension, ascension and coronation of a new king. Insiders say Charles is well aware of the pressure to lead the monarchy into a new era and prove to the world that the British royal family is still a vibrant, vital institution. Some say Charles is determined to do away with the rancour and backbiting that seem to have characterised life among the royals in recent years.
He certainly gave that impression in his first speech as king, when he wished Harry and Harry's wife well, as they continued to build their lives overseas. Others say Charles wants to send a message that he's every bit the stickler for the rules that his mother was. And they say that that agenda is reflected in the first official portrait of Charles as king. According to the royal expert Richard Kay in Daily Mail, the photo is more than meets the eye, as it contains several subtle cues about Charles's intentions as king and his vision for the future of the royal family. The photograph is brimming with symbolism, of course. The new sovereign is pictured with his son and heir, while looming behind them is a glowering portrait of King George III, the longest reigning male monarch in British history, Kay writes. The journalist then notes that the photo was taken on the eve of the Queen's funeral, a reminder to the world that the business of monarchy never stops. He also points out that the facial expressions and body language are more relaxed than what we're accustomed to seeing from the royals. There is another significant factor here, too, and it is a not-so-subtle nod to his wishes for a slimmed-down monarchy, one he believes will be more relevant and more resilient, Kay writes. Some will wonder if this is not just slimming down but cutting to the bone. The unspoken elephant in the room is the absence of the king's younger son. Kay goes on to argue that it's easy to imagine how Harry and Harry's wife might react to the photo, before admitting that he has no idea how they might react. It is not difficult to imagine how this picture will be viewed in sunny California, where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are based, Kay writes. Kay goes on to suggest that the Windsors chose to take the photo while the Sussexes were still in London, so that the choice to exclude the couple would be even more evident. It surely can be no coincidence that the picture was taken when the couple were still in Britain, and several days before they returned home to their children Archie and Lilibet, Kay writes. It must therefore be yet another signal that they will never again return to their central role in royal life. This article states, It's important to bear in mind when reading articles like Kay's that the British tabloid press is made up almost entirely of bitter, angry weirdos who want everyone to be as miserable as they are. Quite the sweeping observation. So here's what really happened. Harry and Harry's wife were left out of the photo because they're no longer working royals. That's it. That's their entire story. But Kay gets a giddy little thrill out of imagining that Charles is the sort of man who would publicly throw shade at his own son on the eve of his mother's funeral. Well, it's conceivable that Charles might do that, but it is really a simple explanation here. They're no longer working royals, therefore they are not in the picture. So, that's some coverage about the picture itself and what it might intend. But of course, how might Harry's wife have responded to it? Well, I mentioned earlier how her paranoia will see it as a deliberate snub. And of course, what was the response? It was, anything you can do, I can do as well. You release a photo? Well, here are some of our photos from earlier on in the month. And of course, we have the photos that were released and that would appear on the Instagram page of the photographer, demonstrating that they are so together. And the first shot, Harry's wife stood in front of Prince Harry. As always, she leads, he comes second, he's second row Harry, while she looks straight at the camera. That defiant look, linking her fingers with her husband, and he's smiling again, He's trailing behind her, a little bit like the hilarious how-does-your-hair-look picture that seemed like Harry was the owner of a hairdressing salon that appeared on the cover of Time magazine last September in 2021. Here, of course, he's behind her once again. She always has to be in front, bold, defiant. She's the leader. He goes wherever she leads him. And although we don't see the grip of doom, in that particular picture, we do see that she, again, is holding on to him as if to guide him in this direction. The second shot was a black and white photo, showing the couple from the side as they prepared to take the stage with their fingers intertwined. So this was before the One Young World Summit. And it's, quite frankly, a ridiculous picture. It makes them look as though they're posing to be on a banknote or a stamp. It also isn't particularly flattering, it has to be said, with regard to the changes to somebody's profile. Nevertheless, we do, of course, see the grip 
of doom in evidence as they were about to go on stage as she demonstrates once again the necessity of asserting control over him by physical means. And of course, this is all done in order to fight back against the threat to control perceived by the portrait that was released by King Charles. It is done to bring attention back onto Harry's wife, to make her the centre of matters in order to nullify the threat posed by Charles's photograph and to draw fuel from the responses to her photograph. It's almost childish. You brought out a photo, nah, 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 I've got one too. And of course, the photographs are worth uh, a jibe, as I've explained in terms of the way that she stands in front of Harry and then the, the ridiculous side profile, ridiculous profile picture that has taken place. And of course, this has prompted reactions from people. As explained in IB Times, an article by Catherine Armisen declares, Prince Harry, Harry's wife, mocked on Twitter for releasing UK photos after Palace unveiled new Fab Four pick. Royal fans on social media have questioned the timing of the release of Prince Harry and Harry's wife's latest portraits. Before Queen Elizabeth II's death on September the 8th, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were in Europe only last month for a series of charitable events, including the One Young World Summit in Manchester, England, where Harry's wife delivered the most boring speech in the history of ever. On Monday, photographer Meeson Harriman released two new photos showing Prince Harry and Harry's wife posing for the camera while holding hands moments before they made an appearance at the One Young World Summit on September the 5th. However, the timing raised some eyebrows, as the photos were released just two days after Buckingham Palace unveiled a new portrait of the senior members of the British royal family, King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton, who have been dubbed by some royal fans as the new Fab Four. Ha ha! Just a coincidence to release this less than 48 hours after the King, Queen, Prince and Princess posted theirs, one commented. Pretty pathetic response to the Fab Four release. Her cosplay of Wallace is pretty jarring as well, another said, comparing Harry's wife to Wallace Simpson for whom Edward VIII voluntarily abdicated the British throne to marry. And that's the photograph taken by their buddy. We can see they're really trying hard after King Charles released his portrait on Saturday. A third person wrote, The timing of this new photo is hysterically transparent. The Sussex PR is in overdrive in their relentless thirst for relevancy, a fourth said. Some also question the need to post the photos of Prince Harry and Harry's wife, who are no longer working royals. Why? What's the reason to publish this photo? They are so funny, one asked. Why do private people keep releasing photos to the public? Hypocrisy. And why does her husband always look like he's less important? Another person opined. Well, that's because in the world of Harry's wife, he is. Supporters of Prince Harry and Harry's wife, on the other hand, praised the couple's new portraits and gushed over their relationship. They look amazing and actually do more than smile and wave, one fan wrote. Another added, the love between two empowered individuals is such badass energy. Prince Harry and Harry's wife's love story is definitely one for the books. It isn't a love story. As normal loving couples do, no they're not, a beautiful portrait, a third supporter said. Har Harriman's shots were taken last month, however they were only shared with the public two days after the Buckingham Palace released a photo of the senior members of the royal family from a September the 18th Palace reception for heads of state from which... Prince Harry and Harry's wife were uninvited or were never invited in the first place, depending on who you believe. The fact is, the photograph that was released by King Charles threatens Harry's wife's sense of control, and as always, her hypersensitive narcissism causes her to have to do something in retaliation, which means the release of those two ridiculous photographs. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.